we're going to configure the one-on-one -on -one web space um, to host our WordPress website and what we're going to be doing is creating a directory to host that site and then we're going to be uploading the WordPress files into that directory using the FileZilla FTP client and in order to do that we need to set up a uh, FTP account in FileZilla which we'll do. Before you can set up the FileZilla client, the FTP client, you need to know your FTP account details so you need to log on to one-on-one -on -one control panel and if you click on this link here it will take you to your FTP account. You know, you'll be able to um, see the FTP user that's there and you'll be able to edit the, the password. Now I've actually got a screenshot of this because I don't actually want to show the user account name and details so let's have a look at it. So here's our FTP user here I've just blanked some of the the name out and over on the far right which you can't see um, you can edit that and change the password if you don't actually know the password. So that's how you find your username and your password details of your of your FTP account and that's what we're going to be using to configure a FileZilla client. Yeah, but before you configure your, your FileZilla client um, you need to have uh, obtain the WordPress uh, files from the WordPress download site and here they are here and this is the WordPress directory and here are all the WordPress files here we're going to upload all these files to our web space okay so open up files there click on new site and it opens up in the site manager we click new site here and this is where we enter the f the site details in this window here. Now my host is called uh, www, so my domain name is www.buildyourwebsite.co.uk that's my one-on-one -on -one website. Now we won't need the www, all we use is this with the, the, this bit here, the domain name, so I've actually copied that to make it easier. So we enter the domain name in here where it says host and then we enter the change it to a normal account and we enter the username which we got from our control panel it starts with a U and I'm just going to make a number up here and then we enter the password wherever the password was okay and then assuming they're all correct okay so if I just hit connect it connects me to the site now I just go to the directory on my local drive here where I've got the WordPress files. Now that's the wrong one. Let me find the the right one. So here are WordPress files here. And now if I go over to the the host, my website, you can see it's put me in the root directory. Now what I need to do now is create a new directory here to uh, upload the files into. Now I'm just going to call that directory WordPress because it's going to host the WordPress files. So right click it, create new directory WordPress and scroll open that up there, find it there it is there. Now you won't have so many directories there, um, this is actually this domain name I'm using actually uh, hosts several sites so click that to highlight it click in your WordPress general uh, directory over on your PC now we're going to sorry that's the directory there so there's the directory there now I just click all of these Sorry. To, to click all of them, you need to go down into this window down here. So I click those and click on the bottom. Now we've got them all highlighted. And then all we need to do is right click and upload the files. And there are the files going over onto the host. And that's it. Now you've uploaded the files onto your web hosting. You're ready to run the install. 
Um, one thing I did forget to mention, you should have, uh, it does say in the, the notes, you should have edited the WordPress config.php file before you've done this. Uh, if you haven't, it's not too late. You can just edit it and then just upload that single file. To upload a single file, you just click on it and upload like that. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Until next time, bye.